What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself will probably be enough to say yes. Yeah. That almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest. But I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire? You could forget to pack your underwear? Could run out of gas? But we're taking the plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up. And I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So, I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. Man, the snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think this will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed 
WWE Universal Championship! Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. Ready to make some noise in this silent arena. The Dark Horse. Maybe if the champ takes his time here and stalls, Miz can get here and put an end to this farce of a show. Hey, it's just get... Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the relentless Ryan Lewis. Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Ah, uh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Jeez. Now there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Great power escape and a shot to the back. <laughs> Able to reverse. Dominating shoulder tackle. Uh, coming down hard with that shovel. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Oh, look at this. Show it off with a big flex. And then a kick to the back. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, can Rude withstand much more of this? Rude needs to find a spark. Back and forth we go. Reversal. Can he take advantage? And Rude reverses. Reversals. Reversals and more reversals. Taking it outside the ring now. He's grabbed a shovel, and this match just took a sadistic turn. Saw that coming. Good God almighty, that could end it all right here. Rude able to evade. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Oh my! 
my, what a splash. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. He's bringing a lot of intensity right now. German suplex, but that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat, what a combination. Big splash. Rude's being stalked, dangerous situation. Kick gets caught. He foiled that attempt. Dominating. Now a pin for the championship. One, two. That's it. It's over. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the relentless Ryan Lewis. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit. Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts, except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. And in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic.
It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the relentless Ryan Lewis! Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. Using an empty arena for a false count anywhere match? GM R-Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired in our truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. Come on, count along if you want. The 10 beats of the modern. Shot after shot after shot. My goodness. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Ooh. Things are about to go in a completely different direction. Uh, watch out, this strategy could backfire or pay off big time. These superstars are the literal definition of a danger to themselves and others right now. Oh, brutal. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Take down, looking for the cross face. It's cinched in, this could be over. Uh, this one's over. Tap out coming. Looking to free the arm and does just that. What a punch. Ow! And Gable's hopes are waning in this one. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. He just barely dodges. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Oh my, what a splash. What? And this is the level of animosity we're dealing with. The ring literally can't contain it. Not yet. Up and down, the champion into the cover. One, two, that's three. Got it, and the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Relentless. Ryan Lewis! The
undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Great match out there, champ. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Yes, people like me, and we were right. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics, and those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there, and I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches, but there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. See you there. The avalanche of attacks of the champion just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the WWE Universal title? Interim SmackDown GM R-Truth is rewriting the rules left and right. He might have a future in management after all. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Oh! Ooh. Oh, God. Boom, what impact. Oh, man. Oh, God. Way to steer clear. He knows how to avoid contact. Up and down. As the challenger pinned, is this it? One, two. Breaks the count. Big splash. Oh, man. And a kick. Oh, that can squash you. Cover. One, two. No title still hangs in the balance. A big boot. Shot right to the gut. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh is right. And there's the fall away slam. And truth evades that. Impressive counter. Big forearm. Right in the breadbasket. Oh boy. Climbing that ladder, and there's nothing good at the end of it. I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or take this fight into a new and dangerous direction. Gotten himself into a very precarious situation yeah. up there. Boom, right in the button. And I don't know what's going through these superstars' mind. Aren't they aware of the dangers up there? I think they're blinded by adrenaline at this point, Michael. No! What a slam! Alabama style. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the final time, the last ride. Is it enough? One, the cover! Two, two count. Three. Retains the title. 